The digital divide is a multi-dimensional global challenge that even impacts urban and metropolitan areas. Contending with a lack of connectivity, affordability, and digital skills makes it difficult to keep up in today's world. Combined, these elements can prevent people from having adequate access to healthcare. Hi, I'm Don McGuire, and I'm here in Washington, D.C. today to share with you how the George Washington Medical Faculty Associates physicians are using digital health technologies and telehealth to provide healthcare access to more people. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think you know patients face a lot of barriers to receiving care today. So we make them come to our clinic, but there's challenges with transportation, there's challenges with uh, getting time off from work or childcare. Even connectivity can be a barrier. Transmitting vital signs like we've done here, it really optimizes the way that we can provide care through telehealth. So this was super easy, um, and I can really see the value and how this will improve people's lives by helping them access life-changing care. I, you know, I think telehealth is a necessity for our patients to improve access. How do we help patients bridge that digital divide, give them the skills and the confidence to use the technology they have? So what is your message, Dr. Sitka, to medical professionals who should really encourage this adoption of telehealth um, with their patient population? Teach and train them uh, to optimize telehealth visits. So we have to figure out how we can create a regulatory environment that enables telehealth, um, that makes it simple and easy, allows for the you know, care to be had um, at the right time, at the right place, for the right patient. I hope you can see how truly life-changing this technology is and how important it is that we all work together to close the digital divide. Thank you for watching today. Follow the links below for more information on the digital divide and what you can do to make a difference. <laughs>